Alright, hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, here's the deal. Uh, today, later on today, yeah, I know you're gonna get two videos today. And tomorrow, yeah, you're gonna get a special video tomorrow on Saturday. We're gonna have three, oh, okay. We're gonna have three separate videos on three different things that has happened within, at least, within the last, you know, 24 hours of, like, happening. So, the first video for today has to deal with something that happened yesterday. Uh, in this case, we're going to go all the way to the European Union, you know, in Europe, in their headquarters, in Belgium. In Brussels, which is the capital of Belgium. Yeah. Okay, anyways. So, as of around 1.30ish in the afternoon, here in the Eastern Standard Time of the United States, you know, here in Ohio, European Union leaders agreed to open membership negotiations with Ukraine. Does that mean that there's going to be an all-out war between the European Union and Russia? No. Not at all. That's not what, I, what that's going to mean. It means that Ukraine will officially would, you know, eventually become part of, well, the largest organization in Europe outside of NATO. So, um... We'll see exactly how that happens and how that turns out. They announced that they will begin to, uh, actually kind of began yesterday. But also, on the state of that, at around, uh, I'd say probably around 9.50-ish p.m. yesterday, uh, Hungary blocked the European Union from giving more financial aid to Ukraine, but EU leaders agreed to open membership talks with Kyiv, which is the capital of Ukraine. So, just a couple of things about that just to keep in mind with. So, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know about that. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned at around 6 o'clock today for the other uh, video for, you know, today. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you later.